Good morning, everyone. I know I said I was going to work at night, but uh, today is Saturday, and I have a... Uh, Riley has her regionals today, so I'll be gone this evening. And so, I am going to try your guys' idea of this balloon thing. So, I'm missing my cup. Oh well. Uh, this bloom that you wanted me to try with this unicorn spit. Now, let me tell you something. They said you could make alcohol inks with this. Boy, is it difficult. Let me highly, highly, highly recommend that you break this down in, in alcohol like I did in my very in the second video when I was breaking down the um, product and alcohol first because if you put this product and then pour alcohol in it and try to shake it up it don't mix and I think the reason for that is because it just doesn't too much alcohol I think maybe I, I don't know but so I had to literally uh, pour it out and put um, a little bit in okay this is for my white and we are at temperature so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this spray I'm gonna go ahead and pour my resin And we're going to try this. I chose the pink and the gold. Um, whether or not that's a good choice or not, I don't know. But we're going to try it. so hard to see. Sticks. Let's see if that makes it easier to see where it's at. Hmm. I don't know. It it's so translucent that it's hard to see where it's at. All right. Now, I'm going to go around the edges of this just because you can see some bubbles for me. because my resin's getting thicker. It's getting to that honey consistency. Now, I don't know if these alcohol inks are going to work or not. I tried to mix them as strong as I could. I did the 10 to 1, well, with the alcohol. I don't, don't know what the ratios are because I didn't buy her book. Her book tells you all that stuff. She's only willing to give you the clues for a few things.
I keep getting rid of my paper towel. Jeez. And my usual mix, except today I'm not using Casting Craft. I'm using Let's Resin Ocean White. And then, of course, Let's Resin Alcohol ink. All right, here we go. We're going to try these alcohol inks. So this is the gold. Let's see if they work. light. Guess I could have made them a lit little stronger. I just wasn't sure. I'll just double up on the color here and see. happens. I think you're going to need quite a bit of pigment in these to make them brighter. And I use 10 drops, so I would say probably 20 drops would work better. So this may be a very light bloom. Alright, let me get my white mixed up here. Ready to go. All right. Um, I am going to see what kind of petals we can do today.
almost used it all. Fix my little blubbies. Okay, so I'm going to go follow my lines in like this. And then I'm going to go out between each one. think everything is touching. Okay. I got these little gems. I thought those might be kind of cool to put in the center. Should I put a gold one?
little center here. It looks like it's pretty centered. A little bit of clear on top of that. Excuse me. Goodness. Okay. Torch. Okay, we're going to let this cure. See what happens. We'll be back. All right, guys, we'll be back. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Okay, as you can see, I have another coaster sitting here because I thought that this one would turn out too light. So I mixed up some more um, unicorn spit, but check this out. You remember on the uh, magic board, how that left indentions in there? It did that in this too. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not convinced that this stuff is good for uh, blooms but let's get this out of here I back this with black and we'll see how this worked Well, I was right. Let me trim this edge off of here first. Okay. Are you guys ready to see this? Oof, it's a little tacky. All right, ready? One, two, three. That is strange. Really strange. That's like the strangest bloom I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, let me lay this down here and bring you guys in closer. So, um... As I was watching this bloom today, I was just watching it and I noticed that this side was going that direction for some reason and then this side wasn't blooming at all, hardly, and it was pulling to that direction. But if you notice, the unicorn spit was floating this way. So I think 
it was trying the uh, the white was trying to follow the unicorn spit that's what I'm guessing now I could be wrong but just based on what I was seeing today because you notice there's none over here and it was all traveling this direction so it was following the unicorn spit which all traveled over to here so that's very interesting now it's stuck okay I'm gonna set that back over here because I don't think that was quite quite ready to be taken out of that mold jet oops set this back over here to let it finish curing I'll just set it back on the mold okay now on this one I went and I mixed uh, more unicorn spit with alcohol but I made it a thicker consistency and um, I took a photo of it and when I put the, this video up I'm gonna put that photo out there so you can see what it looked like when I put when I dropped this in there so you can see what it looked like before I put in the weight. So, I don't know. Let's take this out of here and see what you think. Now this is just a test. So, I'm not 100% convinced that this unicorn spit will work for blooms. I mean, you got to make alcohol ink, and in order to make alcohol ink, you got to know. Oof, look at that. And all I did on this was go in a circle. That was it. And then I pulled in. That was it. So. The glitter in the unicorn spit dropped wherever it was. Everywhere you see it, it's dropped. It did not spread whatsoever. And then the actual coloring spread through the white. But all of these chunks of glitter, I think, stopped the white from it allowing to bloom. That That's what I'm guessing. I mean, anybody want to challenge me on it, that's what I think. That's my best guess. Because the glitter didn't move, and so you notice all these little sections right here. The the white moved around it, but it didn't have anywhere to go. So it just dropped. I may try this again, except I may try it, you know, on a bigger piece. I don't know, maybe this piece wasn't big enough. I don't know. But that's my thoughts on this. I've never had a bloom not turn out ever 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 so it's really interesting how every piece of white dropped through that spit and just stopped you can see every single bit it's like a pillow every single one of them are a pillow Can you see that from the side? Even when you look at it from the side, it's like a pillow in there. It tried to, 
but I think the unicorn spit literally prevented it from going anywhere. And then again, this is what the back looks like. So, I don't know. There has to be a happy medium somewhere with it. I just don't know where that is without doing lots of playing with it. This looks, this looks more like a petri dish than it does a balloon. It's kind of crazy. So, this one literally did weird stuff, moved towards the glitter, and tried to bloom, and the rest of it, I don't even know. I don't even know. So, it's kind of crazy. I don't even know what you'd even call that. Half bloom, half not. I mean, you can see that it tried. It tried. You can't see any, hardly any color whatsoever. That color just went absolutely gone. It's kind of crazy. It kind of looks like a ghost. But see, it did do the same the same thing though because see here look there's those dropping things again so it's almost like and then it got to here and it just stopped it's crazy it's really crazy all right guys that's about all i can all the information i can come up with but it is strange that's for sure i mean the colors are pretty but it just didn't go anywhere. It just looks like a Petri dish. A crazy Petri dish. I wonder if I tried it with mica powder versus the casting craft. Like try to bloom with, with the mica powders. Because you can do that. You can do a bloom with, with mica powders. I've done that before. So... I don't know, maybe I'll try that and see if it, it goes a little smoother. Because, you know, the Casting Craft and the uh, Ocean White, you know, they're heavy. And so maybe the mica powder would let it flow a little more. I don't know. We'll have to try it, I guess. I mean... I don't mind experimenting with this stuff, guys, if, if you don't mind me doing it. I just don't want you to get bored. That's the only thing I worry about, is that you're going to get bored with these experiments and quit watching it. So, I can try the mica powder. have no problems with that. Alright, guys. <laughs> That's definitely a fail. Um, so we will uh, try mica powders next with this stuff um, in a bloom and see what happens with that. I mean, what else? I mean, that's, mica powders is really all that we would have to try it with, unless you guys have some ideas. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. Let's, uh, I'll go ahead and get this video posted, and then we'll, um, I'll try again with the mica powders, and we'll see what comes up, see how that works. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great evening. Bye, y'all.